lock it up and shut it off until you're done with class. That's what the Schoharie Central School District wants students to do with their cell phones. News on ABC's James De La Fuente shares the mixed reaction from tonight's listening session. We're here in Schoharie where parents were just able to voice their opinions on the new policy implementing a yonder bag where students will lock their phones up throughout the duration of their day. The school board held a parent reaction meeting for those who would like to talk about the lockup procedure for cell phones this year. Students will place their smart device in what's called a yonder bag until the end of the day. Not all parents approve of this new approach. I don't want to say that it's, it shouldn't be implemented, but I don't agree with the way they're implementing it. I think it should be implemented as a reprimand, as you know, you did this, so now you, you lose your phone. This administration always wants the easy way out. My child is probably not coming back. The move is designed to maintain order in the classroom and eliminate online bullying during school hours. Other parents we spoke with think it will dial back the distractions. I feel that it's a good idea because the kids don't need phones in the classroom, but from start to end, them not having access is not there. They should have them at least lunchtime or study hall. Students place their turned off phones in a yonder bag when they enter the school. They can then unlock the pouch at one of eight stations and retrieve their phone at the end of the day. The district will pay for the new high-tech bags with a $10,000 grant. After they're locked, officials can tell if the pouch has been tampered with and a phone has been accessed. Replacing a damaged bag will cost a student or their parents $15. And with any policy, there will always be disciplinary actions if the policy is not followed. First-time offenders will have their phones immediately given to an adult and have their phone confiscated until the end of the day. A second offense will add detention, and a third offense will advance to suspension. All offenses will make it so that student violators may not attend any extracurricular activities, sports events for that day. Medical exemptions were discussed at tonight's meeting, but there was no for sure answer on how the implementation will take effect. Phone or no phone, Schoharie Schools will have you locking it up for the day. In Schoharie, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.